What is going on everybody? And it has been quite a long time since I've done a video discussing Nintendo or any Nintendo related topics. Because quite honestly, for the most part, they're pretty much irrelevant now when it comes to the gaming industry at this point. Because there's really like nothing much going on over there. And it's, you know, it's quite honestly, it's really sad to see. The state of events here but you know what honestly nintendo kind of dug their own grave at this point but but they just recently had a nintendo direct and there have been rumors to this and these rumors eventually came true they are apparently going to re-release the legend of zelda twilight princess in hd for the wii u now you know i find it funny I find it funny how we have lots of Nintendo fanboys that have constantly said that, oh no, Nintendo would never, ever do what Sony and Microsoft do when they do all these remasters. And, you know, they would never do these evil DLC practices even though they do them with Amiibos. And they would never, ever do microtransactions even though they're doing microtransactions now with their upcoming mobile games. No, Nintendo's different from Sony and Microsoft. They would never do that. But yet, here they are, doing all those things. And not only that, they are doing just as many remasters, it seems like at this point, as Sony. Now, if you actually list each side's remasters one by one, you know, Sony might have more. They might have more HD collections slash remasters. I'll admit that. But here's the thing. Sony has third-party support to make up for that. There's enough balance on the Sony side to make up for that. You really can't say that for Nintendo. Because they seem to, well, they've only released, like, what, five, six games just this year? And a couple of them being remasters? There's no balance. That's the difference. So yeah, it's just, once again, it's Nintendo fanboy hypocrisy. Which is really nothing new. But honestly, you would think me of all people. Me of all people would be happy about something like this. Because you want to know, as some of you know, I'm a huge Zelda fan. And I've been a huge Zelda fan since, honestly, since I first started playing video games, back in the late 80s, early 90s, The Legend of Zelda was my second ever video game I ever played, after Super Mario Bros. And I've been hooked on Zelda ever since, and The Legend of Zelda seems like that one franchise that Nintendo has left that they really haven't run, run into the ground. And honestly, at this point, it seems like they are starting to slightly do that. In my opinion. With the release of these the Zelda T Triforce Heroes for 3DS. Which I don't really see the point of. I don't really care about it. I don't play Zelda for multiplayer. And yet, you know it's probably why they haven't included any multiplayer in the console games. Because most people don't care about it. So I don't know why they continuously release these Zelda-esque multiplayer games. And then, of course, with the Twilight Princess HD. Now, Zelda Twilight Princess is probably one, it's one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. Yes, you know, honestly, Twilight Princess is actually not a lot of people's favorite Zelda games. And actually, actually, I never understood why that is. I really haven't. It's my third favorite Zelda game of all time, if you can believe it. The only two that beat it are Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past. But Twilight Princess is one of my favorites. So you would think I would be really happy about this, but I'm not. I'm not. Now, I was perfectly fine with a lot of the other re-released Zelda games that Nintendo put out. Because there was really no other way to play the previous version on the hardware that they got released on. Like for example. Ocarina of Time 3DS. The only, the only other way to play Ocarina of Time. Is if you have a Nintendo 64. A GameCube. 
or you download it on the Virtual Console for the Wii. That's really the only other place to play it when they re-released Orca of Time. So I have no problem with that. Same thing with Majora's Mask. And honestly, even though I don't like the game that much, the same thing with Wind Waker. But Twilight Princess is a different case. Twilight Princess can be played on the Wii U. Because last time I checked, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, the Wii U is backwards compatible with Wii games. Meaning, if someone really wanted to play Twilight Princess on the Wii U, they could have done since they could have done it since day freaking one. They could have bought it for the Wii, popped it into the Wii U, and played it. They could have. So this is kind of a different scenario than the other ones. Now, of course, you know, some people probably don't want to play with the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck with the Wii U, and I perfectly understand that. I don't blame you at all. And I'm pretty sure that Twilight Princess HD is going to ha not have the Wii support with it. I th although it could be, I guess, but I have a feeling they're going to go to the GameCube route and just not have all that motion control stuff, which is a thumbs up for me. But... This just really... I don't really see the point of this existing. Honestly, to me, this is just really telling. Because, honestly, we should have gotten this. We should have gotten Twilight Princess HD back in 2006. Because, guess what? HD gaming was around in 2006. With the PS3 and the Xbox 360. HD gaming already existed, but Nintendo didn't want to do HD because they were being fucking cheap. So we should have gotten Twilight Princess HD back then. And I remember hardcore Nintendo fans, I remember they made an emulator for the Wii, it was called, I think it was called the Dolphin, which actually upscaled the Wii games to HD. Because they wanted to see games like Twilight Princess, Super Mario Galaxy, and other games in HD. But Nintendo didn't want to give you HD then, the fans had to do it. But now, they're starting to do it on the newer console, the Wii U, and they're going to charge you a lot of money for it, because this is going to be $59.99 for a game that came out almost 10 years ago. Think about it. You know, people complain, or mostly Nintendo fanboys have complained about Oh, why is the Nathan Drake Collection $60? Sony's overcharging for these remasters. Nintendo's doing the same exact thing with, honestly, a less of a deal. Because you're not getting ex any extra content with Twilight Princess HD because Nintendo didn't do DLC back then. At least with, like, Nathan Drake Collection, you get three full games for $60. Or, like, for example, The Last of Us, which... You get all the DLC they ever did with the game. So you get other bonus things on top of the game. But you don't get it here with the upcoming Twilight Princess HD. But, oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Nope. You do, actually. You do. You're getting an amiibo. Yay. You could probably hopefully tell that was really... An insane amount of sarcasm right there. Yes, apparently Twilight Princess HD is going to be is going to come bundled with the Wolf Amiibo because you know that's what all gamers want. They want to have Amiibos bundled with their games. Now, you know, I'm sorry. Even if I was tempted to buy this, seeing as how it is one of my favorite Zelda games, I am not going to buy it. Just sim simply for the fact that I don't want to buy an Amiibo. I don't like Amiibos. I don't want to buy them. So why are they forcing me to buy them with my game? Now, hopefully, hopefully, Nintendo will have an Amiibo-less version of Twilight Princess HD. But as of right now, from all of the pre-order links that I've seen for this game... It's just for the Amiibo bundled version. 
Hopefully Nintendo does what they did with Super Mario Maker and make an amiibo version and then a non-amiibo version. But you know what? Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if we've gotten to the point with these amiibos that Nintendo is now just going to force amiibos upon gamers. The, you want you want to buy this game? Nope, you gotta buy amiibo, an amiibo with it. We're gonna force amiibos down your throat. So no no longer are they optional. We're gonna force them upon you. <sighs> and you know I understand why Nintendo does it because it, it's really the only major revenue source they have right now. Because you know they they can't make video games. No, they got they gotta make toys to make this money, but they don't have time to make video games. It's really a sad state of affairs when you think about it like that. But, there comes a point when you're just making stuff, and then you're forcing that stuff upon people. And that's what this is. I mean, that's like if you're going to buy a game on the PS4 or Xbox One, and, oh, nope, you have to buy the season pass with this game. You cannot buy this game unless you spend the extra money for a season pass. Otherwise, you can't buy this game. Do you know how much uproar that would cause in the gaming community if that were to happen? But that's exactly what Nintendo is doing here. Unless they make an Amiibo-less version, that's what they're doing here. They are forcing people to buy Amiibos. And you know what? I'm sorry. I don't collect Amiibos. I don't want to collect them. You know, if you collect these Amiibos for figurines, you know what? That's fine. But to me, they are different from the collectible figures that come in other collector's editions because they look like toys. And I'm not into collecting toys. You know, some people are, and that's perfectly fine. That's you. But that's not me, though. And I should have to be forced to buy one. So... Alright, before I go here, because I think I've ranted long enough, I'm just going to say this. You know, I just find this funny how Nintendo has the time to make all these Amiibos, re-release older Zelda games, but they don't have time at all to discuss or even show off the Zelda that people want. The new Zelda game. You know, they don't seem to have a lot of time for that. Which, by the way, they still insist... The new Zelda is coming to Wii U, which, you know what, I think it is. But what I also think they're going to do is launch it with the Nintendo NX. So they're going to, ironically, they're going to kind of do what they did with Twilight Princess. Have a GameCube version, and then there was the Wii version. They delayed it for the GameCube to launch with the Wii. You know, some people have told me that I was wrong for thinking that, but I still think that to this day. I highly doubt that was a freaking coincidence. I think the same exact thing is going to happen here. They're going to make a Wii U version because, you know, they promised it. But they're also going to make the quote-unquote new and more improved version for the NX to launch with the NX because they want people to buy their new console. And you know what? Launching a console, a new console, with a Zelda game is almost going to guarantee a lot of people are going to jump the shark and they're going to buy the console because they love Zelda that much. And you know, it's kind of sad to see Nintendo using one of my favorite gaming franchises as a tool like this, but you know what? There's nothing much I can do about it, and it's sad to see. So, alright, let me know what your thoughts on this is, and um, until next time, have a good one.